talking about Asian American men in Hollywood. We started like this with Teddy, Jeff, and Guy. Obviously, talking about um, how uh, Asian American men are being portrayed and is it good or bad for the community. In the last three segments, I think we've established one thing. It is not as good because it's not reflecting our diversity. It's not reflecting our true image as Asian Americans. Um, but what can we do? Do we just accept that? Do we just accept what, what's given to us? No, we have to speak up. I think we need to give feedback to Hollywood when we like something and why we like it, and we need to give feedback to them when we don't like something. I think the reason why a lot of these comments keep coming out in the media, whether it's against Jeremy Lin or it's against the president of China or whatever, is because people don't think that Asian Americans will do anything about it. Subconsciously, they think you can make fun of them and gay people. I think at this point, you can still make fun of gay people and Asian people without thinking twice. And this is what we're seeing with the Jeremy Lin phenomenon. So we've got to, under, we got to make people believe that uh, Asian Americans will get upset. So you better think twice about what you say. And not only that we'll get upset, also when we're happy, we're going to say something. I guess the, 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 the main takeaway from that is that we can stand up for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to take anything sit, sitting down. We're gonna, not going to take anything slide. Teddy? The world has changed enormously with the internet and social media. So each one of us is empowered. Our voices can be heard. We can be vigilant. We can protest when something bad happens. But more importantly, I'd like to look at the positive, that we can follow our actors from our community, our directors, our filmmakers, and support them on their websites and their Twitter pages, and really show that we as a community are looking out for each other on that front, but we as consumers also enjoy the work that community members are doing. Right, and you mentioned something earlier that uh, the last to acknowledge all this is Hollywood. How long do we wait? What is the psychology behind this? What is the Hollywood psychology? I really don't know what the Hollywood psychology is, um, but there are things that we can do. Um, for example, uh, I used to have connection with Mana, and when Lost first hit, um, the producers of Lost really wanted the Korean actress, um, and so then they hired Daniel Day Kim to be her uh, her husband. But they were supposed to be Korean, and so they only spoke Korean. She knew English, and so the audiences were relating with her, but they couldn't relate to him. Mm -hmm. And uh, Daniel Day Kim had contacted Mono, and he was really worried at the end of uh, season one or season two that they were going to write him out of the program. And so what I did was I went on the Lost blog and I was saying, here I am an Asian American man, finally we have uh, mm -hmm. a strong Asian American portrayal, but... You're um, making it prohibitive. Yeah, because the audi audience can't relate to him. Yes. And, and, you know, he may disappear. And it turned out that the, uh, the writer of Daniel Day Kim's character was following the blog. And he says, no, that's not going to do it. But I don't know. You know, I think that what he, he may have done was changed. Well, do you know that on, on the show, there was a Korean-American writer. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to be sensitive. So what I want to remind everybody here is you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Lost was a show that employed many Asians mm -hmm. in front of the camera, behind the camera. ESPN, we, we criticize them for the Jeremy Lin thing, but they also have given them unprecedented promotion and face time and help propel this Lin sanity. Mm -hmm. So I want to look at it not all in the negative. I appreciate the efforts that are being done, mm -hmm. and uh, that's why we all need to work together. Yes, well, and, and I, I guess uh, last one minute on the show, but then I guess I, I just want to uh, have, give the viewers something to take away from this, which is being vigilant. Vigilant of what we consume, and also vigilant when we're happy, say we're happy. When we're satisfied, say, and also show our support. And that is why I'm very thankful that you guys, like I said earlier, the heavyweights of the Asian American community came out to support this program, to support this special. Teddy, Jeff, and Guy, thank you so much uh, for all your contribution in today's show. Mana, that's the website on the screen. If you have anything else to say, um, you want to write uh, some shows, producers, that's the website. And Guy and Mana will help you. Thank you so much much more power. Thank you for joining us today on the show. This has been Janelle Sawyer, Kababayan in Los Angeles. I'll see you again tomorrow.